Hi guys, welcome to Business Reviews. Today we're going to review a property. I was invited to Velaris, the Velaris. It's beside Blue Leaf Pavilion near IPI. They have three showrooms that they want to show. So this project is a collaboration between Hong Kong Land and Robinson's Land. It's a joint venture. So this joint venture is named RHK, Robinson's Hong Kong Land. Robinson's Land wants to go into the high-end market. This is their second try. They've tried their hand at high-end market first with the West End. Hong Kong Land has run Rojas. I know some of our boss were renting there for half a million per month. Bridgetown is fully owned by Robinson's and there are two parts. There's the west side and the east side. You might see that's why it's called Bridgetown because there's a bridge there. East side is more Pasig, west side is more Quezon City. Bridgetown will be separated by this 200 meter bridge. The fault line, the critical is around 500 meters from it. And the fault line is like downwards, like here. Hospital, so hospital closest is Medical City. So that's around Ortigas have over here. Schools have UNP and then Ateneo and UP if you want to go that side. So there will be a project for a skyway from Ortigas to BGC yes. in the future. What you have here is a mock-up of what the township will be. One of the things that stands out to me is this statue. So this statue is going to be like 20 floors. We commemorative and adjusting based on what's happening around. And the name of this guy is Victor. So it's a place for Victors. In front, they will be establishing an Opus Mall. This mall is uh, a brand of Robinsons that they're just starting. And the mall would have its own five-star hotel at the top. So you could have your visitors there if you don't want them at home. This is the building. It's 45 floors. 39 is for residence. 4 is for parking. 3 is for amenities. And at the bottom, you'd have retail spaces for 18. Most of this is actually selling out because they'll be making a park on that side. Corner lots are all uh, two bedroom units. And there will be three bedroom units at the top and I think they're selling out so they had to make a couple of few more here at lower floors for three bedroom units. There would be two entrances. One is the residential area here. And then the other one is uh, the commercial entrance and this is the parking for your guests. This part will be finished except this part. This part is for those other two buildings. So this is included in the building. Yes. For the amenities, there's a kids room over there. And then there's business lounge beside it. And above that would be your karaoke room. Yes. They have a multi-level landscape thing over here. There's this 50 meter pool. They would have their gym here. That's the events pavilion. There will also be a Japanese onsen and of course you'd have these savannas if you just want to lounge around. This one is the one facing south, southeast. So you'll see Laguna the Bay from here. They also have a dance studio and a yoga room over here. Okay, at the very top of the building you would have a sky bar. This is the concept that they have for their sky bar. It would have a game room, it would have a card room, it would have a gourmet dining. You would have seven elevators, three for everybody to use. Okay, there will be service elevators, part of the common elevators. And there would be four for private lifts. If you have two bedrooms, you can use those. This area is a mock-up of the private lobby that the people with two bedrooms would be able to use. So if you want an iPad, it's like this big. You can do that. Is it working? We're here at the one bedroom deluxe. So this is the 52 square meters. Unit is at 47.5 square meters and 4.5 square meter balcony. Here's what it is. This is one of their basic models. The height here is 3.1. That's the height that they have. This is going to be your living or dining room. Let's see. One. One. Two. When you come in, you see the balcony, privacy, okay, this is the bathroom, opposite of the window, and then the bedroom. Sometimes we don't have enough electric plugs, you know, that's good that it's included. I'm not really for built-in cabinets. This one is a high-gloss acrylic and they are making it sliding. Also, they use the space at the top, so if you want to put your luggages there. And they have these cabinets that are slam-proof. The kitchen, I prefer the ones that are hanging. The ref is supposed to go here. And they have a fume hood. Where do I put the bin? Where's the trash bin gonna be? Okay, that's a problem. 
this has been common that the glass is separating toilet from the shower. So the tiles are all the same, except for this. This is marble, natural stone marble, they say. Part of the deliverables, the shower, the bidet, the toilet, and the enclosure. It includes the, the tiling. You can get these as is, so these, including the vanity mirrors. I think these are all your medicine cabinets. Hmm. Nice lights. You would have two inverters for this type of unit. And depending on the unit that you buy, you'd have different materials used. So part of the deliver deliverables are the tiles. Your floors will be tiled, including the bank balcony and the, the floor. The floor will be with this engineered wood, just like. I don't know, some drywall. They have these uh, smart locks. You have a key method, you have a fingerprint, you have a pin method. If you want to check on your guests, you can decline them from here. So this part is very important. So after you come, you have a place to put your stuff. And I think this is for your shoes. So you can put your shoes there. And I think that's not enough. But uh, yeah, there's a place for stuff there. I don't know where I put the umbrella or coat though. This is the one bedroom premium apartment. You have a kitchen, table and bath, dining, living, bedroom, study area, and balcony. It's a bit longer and this is 60 square meters, 55.5 and 4.5. 55.5 for the floor area and 4.5 for the balcony area. This is the kitchen. I like these tiles better. I like this area because I think it's, it's more important that you have something like this. Having a separate room for where you're working is good. I don't see any Ethernet cable filing cabinets. This design looks like a pantry, but they would made it to a room. I'd like to work in an area where you could have a green screen. You'd have a small balcony. I think this is good for like two people at most. Pre-built cabinets. Balcony area. Okay, so if you intend on smoking, if they allow you smoke, yeah, it's this area. So let's go to the two bedroom suite. This one's 105 square meters, 100.5 for floor area and 4.5 for the balcony again. It's a bit swanky. Once you enter, there's an area where there's this big mirror, and then there's this area for your slippers, your sandals. You'd have an oven with you, and a bigger stove and a bigger fume hood. Kitchen, and then there's this. This is gonna be your maid's room. It's a washroom, in case you can do your laundry. Single tub. This part, the living room, dining room, of course, the balcony, six people. And then this part, it's the bedroom, and then another bedroom. So this could be up to four people at most, two bedrooms. Well, if you want, if you want the washroom, right? They put some mirrors so it looks bigger. You would have your private elevator and an area to access the common elevator. So this wasn't really part of it. It's just the elevator. And you can change this design. It's similar to one Rojas. And then you would have bathtub in the master bedroom if you get a three bedroom or penthouse. So we we'll finished with the event. Let's try at uh, a more premium market. You got the coat. Parking slot is roughly 1.5. And then 15M for at least the one with the private lift. There are only a few buildings that actually offer gondos with uh, their own lifts. It's not specifically just for the penthouse people. So if you want to get a three bedroom, two bedroom, you can get those. If you like this adventure where we explore different condominiums, let me know if you want to see more. Watch my other content related to real estate here, here, and here, here. If you like this content, click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.